Hi, today I'd like to show you a mod I made on my truck. Um, I added a uh, ignition switched uh, power outlet. Uh, and the purpose of this for me was so I can uh, turn my GPS on and off just when I turn my car on and off rather than having to uh, plug it in um, of this in the cigarette lighter every single time. Um, so I actually did a few interesting things. First off, I made it hidden. And I actually stuck it under the dash right here uh, next to the center console. Um, one of the reasons I did this was uh, for aesthetics. Um, I didn't want this sticking out so everyone could see it. Um, I also wanted to um, kind of hide the wire underneath and make it a little more of a built-in look, um, having the GPS just in my center console here. Um, another reason was for theft deterrence, actually, um, because um, apparently criminals will actually look for the... Uh, suction cup mark on your windshield as evidence of having a uh, GPS. Um, they'll also look for the evidence of having some kind of um, accessory power outlet plugged in or visible uh, even if you stow away the actual device. So my hope was if I can um, have the wire tucked in underneath and hidden away if I stow my GPS it should be pretty much uh, invisible to uh, potential thieves. Um, so um, I'm trying to think. Let's see. Um, there's not too much uh, interesting to say about uh, where I put it. Uh, I did have to take the center console out in order to uh, fit it in under there. It was a pretty tight fit. Um, then what I did is I ran it, the wire, underneath the uh, floorboard here. And I ran it. I don't know if you can see it's in a blue wire loam there. Um, the wire loam isn't really actually necessary, um, but it does make a little neater of an installation and uh, prevents the wires from uh, getting uh, chafed if uh, they rub up against metal and prevents a short. Um, so for the neutral, there was actually a metal lug just under the uh, dash here, which worked out perfectly um, for the um, negative terminal. For the positive terminal, I actually tied it into the fuse panel with one of these add a circuit devices here. I have a spare one to show you right here. These are actually pretty neat and simplistic, but they're actually brilliant in their simplicity. Um, so on the one side here, all these points are all tied together. When you put a fuse in, it feeds to the one lug. The other fuse will feed to the accessory you added. Um, now this is a case where direction may matter for you, depending on your application. Um, if you hook it up so the feed is on this side, if you were to put two 10 amp fuses in here, you could technically draw up to 20 amps um, off of that lug. Um, I actually did the reverse, so I made it sure that the feed was plugged into this terminal. so it'll be limited by this fuse that I actually go through here and then feed the other um, terminal here. So it's limited to only the one side of the fuse and that one will be the primary one that blows. The reason you would want to do this is if the wiring behind it is only designed for 10 amps, for example, then you won't be able to draw more than 10 amps on the circuit. Um, and another reason I used one of these is because the alternative is to use one of these guys and what you do with these is these will actually pinch the pinch into the uh, wire into the insulation uh, to actually uh, hit to uh, connect to the wire in, uh, inside the insulation of the wire and I consider that a permanent uh, modification to your vehicle and I also consider them to be a little less reliable because if something were to happen to this connection you'll actually have to snip the wire and do a patch on it. Where with this method, you could technically remove it. No one would ever be the wiser that you had this installed. Um, so what I'm going to do is I will demo it for you here. I'm going to plug my GPS in. And turn my car on. See my GPS turn on. I put a little cardboard over there so you can't actually see where I live. Internet safety is important, kids. 
And then when I shut the car off, GPS shuts off. And then what I'm going to do is tuck this wire under here, under the dash, so no one really sees it. And I just holds up into there. And I could do a little neater of a job with it, but uh, as you can see, it almost looks like it's a... Uh, designed for my vehicle. So there you have it.